안녕하십니까? 온라인 서절의 김경원입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Kim Gyeongwon of Online Surgery. I'm honored to share surgical clips with you today. Let's look at today's case. This is a 62-year-old female patient. This is an initial visit. The chief complaint is that there's pain in number 37 and there's separation. Based on diagnosis, there is a periapical lesion as well as buccal fistula. After doing overall oral care, number 37 was extracted. Socket preservation was done. In this case, I used EOS and OSGUIDE. These days, I'm comparing the particulated model of EOS as well as the EOS collagen. In this case, there's a bit of a buckle wall, therefore EOS was used. After that, one guide was used. An implant was placed in number 37 using one guide. This is CT image at initial visit in number 37. Because of periapical lesion, you can see bone destruction. Compared to the level of destruction, buccal wall is still there. If you look at over here on CT, compared with the mesial to the run number 37, the medullar portion, there is a sclerotic change. When there is periapical lesion and spread of inflammation due to the defensive response of the host, you can see that surrounding bone is more hardened. Such a sclerotic changes are not a major hurdle in placing an implant. As mentioned, there is still a bit of buccal wall left, and rather than using AOS collagen, I decided to use AOS particle to do socket preservation. This is the images taken during surgery as shown on the buccal side. There's a fistula. After extraction, fistulectomy was done. Curatage was done thoroughly as shown because there's a bit of buccal wall. I filled it up with AOS particle bone and on top, oscite collagen membrane was applied. Suture was done for socket preservation. This is panoramic image after socket preservation. There's nothing special. This is about the four months later. One guide was prepared. After having taken CT, the AOS is being stabilized. Therefore, surgery was prepared. In order to use one guide, I made plans with one guide team. He has three soy surface, a 5.0 by 10 millimeter implant was planned. As shown here, I decided to place the implant. I did not think that there will be additional bone graft needed. You can see it has been healed nicely. One guide is connected in this middle. In order to use smart abutment, Triangle form is being tested on the implanted driver. Positioning was done. ISQ was measured. Healing abutment was connected. ISQ value was at the time 82, 82, so very favorable. Socket preservation was done using AOS. About 4.5 months later, implant was placed. Right after implant placement, CT was taken around the implant. Alveolar bone is formed well, therefore without additional bone graft, the surgery was closed. This is after final prosthesis delivery. Because I placed a soy implant, I was able to do loading within two months. After socket preservation, about 6.5 months later, loading was done. If you compare with uh, before surgery in the area where there was a periapical lesion, AOS was used for socket preservation. And uh, about 4.5 months later, surgery was done and loading was done after two months. Let's look at the surgical clip. As you can see, one guide template is adapted. I'm checking the adaptation. It fits very well. 
If you look at the distal side of the mesial tooth, you can see that it is fitting nicely. White type tissue punch is used to remove overriding mucosa. I'm using tissue punch a full length. There's no stopper on tissue punch. Overriding mucosa is fully removed. Template is removed. Behind that, I'm removing the tissue which is not fully removed. Template is now positioned. First, I'm using white type initial drill. You cannot really see it in the video, but at the time, initial drill did not go in fully up to the stop. In this case, I use a flattening drill to remove the bone on top. If you do this, initial drill can go in fully. When you use initial drill, and if full drilling is not done, you can use flattening drill once again, and then you'd notice that initial drill would go in full length. Initial drill needs to be done full length for you to be able to utilize double contact concept when drilling using other drills. Full length of drilling is done next. 3.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill is used. 3.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill is used to full length. This is to be able to get sure drilling, sure and stable drilling based on the double contact concept of one guide. Because there's sclerotic change on the bone, I did not use 5.0, I use a 4.5 once again. Full length of drilling is done. I'm using depth gauge to check the contact. Next, I'm using 5.0 by 10 millimeter one guide drill. This is final drilling. As mentioned, there's a bit of sclerotic change. So I used a 4.5 by 10 millimeter drill once again for drilling. Next is TS3 soy implant. You can see that it is irrigated and implant is now going to be placed. No mounted driver is going to be used. It is positioned about 70-80%. After that, implanted driver is used to check the final position and to adjust the depths. Initial torque seems to be good. Implant is now being placed in the desired position. You can see that the yellow mark and triangle, it's aligned. Implant has been placed as shown. Primary stability is good. Healing abutment was connected and surgery was closed. Today's clip was simple, but to give you a tip or two, as shown earlier, when you do initial drilling, if it is not fully drilled up to the stop, this is because uh, the contact uh, with the bony tissue is not done properly. Therefore, you need to use flattening drill to remove the bone tissue on top to be able to drill initial drill fully. In the case of TSA implant, there is tendency to place implants deeper. As shown in this case, if there has been inflammation for a significant period, 
The, if their husband's calorific change, there can be bone heating. After using 3.5 millimeter drill, I did not skip to 5.0 but used 4.5 once again in order to prevent bone heating. That's why I've drilled in this way. One guide drill has excellent cutting power, but at times, if you add one or more steps, it will be more clinically useful and effective. Thank you for watching.